All right, guys, here's the build video. A lot of guys at the Facebook group DIY 18650 have been anticipating this build video. So have I. If you're new, make sure to sub up, like, and subscribe. Come check us out at DIY 18650 at Facebook. Here's two layers of 0.2 nickel strip. I'm welding them with my new 12 MOSFET spot welder. And um, I like to weld this strip because I believe uh, it gives you the exact same representation as welding a 0.2 nickel strip to an 18650. So from my experience from years of welding. So you can see here when it gets zoomed in there, yeah, there you go. There's barely any burn marks. This is with 2.2 ohms of gate resistance. I think one ohms would have been perfect. You can see you got those nice clear heat lines too, if you see on the right angle, little circles. Yeah. So for me, this is like perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm tickled pink with this. You, you need to see a nice weld pool, but you also don't want to like dimple on the inside of the 18650s negative. So like there's, there's that fine line. Eh? You don't want too much, you don't want too much heat either. Bang off a couple quick welds and it's just like soldering. I should really switch my tips out for something more uh, harder copper and as you can see, here's the 12 MOSFETs here on my 800 cold cranking amp battery. So here's some of the gear you're going to need. Add a screwdriver, maybe some contact paste and some emery cloth. And uh, there's not really much you need. You can screenshot that, slow it down. I'll put it in the description, like the MOSFET numbers and all that shit. You're going to need a punch, a couple drill bits. One to do a pilot hole, one to do the actual hole for the same size as the MOSFET hole for the mounting. Nice clean solder with solder, clean solder tip with solder gun, solder and paste. You guys know the drill by now, right? Okay, so we're gonna get to the boards here. When we get on the board, you're gonna see line E. The second hole is drilled out with the biggest drill bit size, and you're gonna drill them all out for every fourth hole after that. Okay, I do the first pilot hole first through the original holes, and then drill them out to the bigger size. And then line Q, you're going to see it's the starting with line th number three and every fourth hole after that. I'll put that written in the description so you guys don't have to fuck around, but you can screenshot that. Clip off all the medium middle legs of the MOSFETs. We're going to use the back tabs as the drain instead of the legs. Lay it all your material, and right now is when I would sand with emery cloth the, black, the back of the MOSFETs and the aluminum bars and make them conductive. Just for the build video, I just threw them together without sanding them first, just so you guys could get visuals and I could uh, make sure to get nice pictures and all that, you know, bullshit. So uh, you'll see here, I have the first legs, which are the gates of all the MOSFETs when they're screwed down. I have uh, the first legs pushed through the first hole on line K, and then every fourth hole after that through line K. Then I have the, the sources. Just pinned up with the eyelids here. Just have everything mocked up. When I actually put it together, I used a little Dremel and even made sure that underneath the eyelids there was like all the aluminum oxide was scraped away. So you'll see here on this picture here that I got uh, got it soldered in. So there's a little bit of pink you can see on the eyelids. Some of the tinning came off. I was pretty hot on that. Had the gun at about 400 degrees. I should have had about 375 obviously. Big tip on there too. So here's 2.2 UF from the gate input to the gate rail. There's a 1K pull down resistor from the source to the gate. All right, guys, we're just set up here for, we'll do a little clip here about tricks and tips and a little bit about the information about how I build this and set it up. So uh, one thing is good to know is that uh, I use aluminum to dissipate the heat. We have an expectancy of about 800 amps to be pulsing through here. So we got to dissipate that heat to keep our MOSFETs working properly, you know, who hasn't opened something that has MOSFETs in it and seen that it has a heat sink, right? Yeah, so this is just pretty basic, you know, we need something to dissipate the heat, you know, uh, we're pulsating 800 amps, so I go with uh, at least uh, 30 plus percent of that on the continuous on my MOSFETs. Peak is a good thing, always go for peak, but uh, you know, I like to say, if you're using 800 cold cranking amp battery, you're maybe, let's say you're welding at 800 amps, I probably want at least 800 amps of continuous on my MOSFETs plus 30%, just to keep everything safe, you know what I mean? And uh, <clears throat> I like to polish the aluminum, polish the back of the MOSFETs, make sure that everything's going to be, you know, have be able to be contact with each other. Put a little contact paste also underneath there, you can see it smeared out, hanging out. And then what I like to do back the camera up a bit again I like to just uh, go and check every spot oops I don't know if you can see my other hand there there you go 
I like to just go and check every spot. Make sure it's all hooked up. Same on the out -out outs. Do the screws, all of them. Do all the tabs. Then I'm going to set it to ohms. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to check all the legs. 0 0.1 ohms. Let's go on through all of them. Make sure that it's uh, they're all the same. You know, like I've already done this, so I'm not going to do them all. But this is just, this is the meter is just ensuring you that you've done your job, and you've properly installed all the MOSFETs appropriately, so they have proper contact and the same path of resistance as all the other sister or paralleled switches that are paired up with it. We have a bunch of switches. They're working as a team. They need to be hooked up as a team in the same with the same resistance. Hopefully that makes sense. So I do that and I'm like, okay, we're good. No issues with con like con continuity. Everything's connected, right? So a lot of people still might go down in the comments and ask for a schematic. Yes, I have written many schematics about this. It's on my computer. That's kind of ridiculous. Guys, look at all of the legs are in parallel, okay? This is the inputs. All the inputs are in parallel. They all have continuity, low resistance. All of the outputs, same thing. They're all hooked up in parallel. They all have continuity. They all have low resistance. The gate legs, all the first legs, they go underneath the board. They're all hooked up in parallel. They all have low resistance. You know what I mean? Same thing. We're all good. 1K pull down resistor from the gate rail to the input. Gate rail to the input, 1K. From the gate rail to the pulse weld input is a 2.2 ohm. The RDS on for these MOSFETs is five, five milli ohms. And I went with uh, 2.2 ohms. Uh, about one ohms is absolutely perfect. I just went with 2.2. But uh, you know, I'd say maybe if you, you might wanna go with 10 and work your way around it. Or work with whatever you have, like the Maltrex, for example, they have 30 ohm individual gate resistors. Uh, I like to keep it low. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else I can think about. That's basically it. These welders are just a parallel group of switches. Uh, they're insanely easy to use. I've looked up like some really nice spot welders and they're basically just the same thing as this. And uh, timing, timing will be next. I have a bunch of different timing units. And uh, that's a whole video in itself entirely. So you can pair this up with the store-bought welder uh, timer, sorry, or something that you can make yourself. Just make sure your timing is really low. I have to recalculate my timing because I base my timing off of calculating the UF of my capacitor, which I use for timing, which is 22 UF. And I, I just went with off of zero resistance calculation. So I get like 0.22 milliseconds, which is insane. It's less than a millisecond. But you see that it only had 0 .1, 0 0.1 ohms of resistance, so I'll have to recalculate that. But still, it's so low, I have to make sure to see what's going on there. Maybe it's more like 22 milliseconds, I don't know, or 2 milliseconds. But uh, I'll have to figure that out exactly, that's why I didn't add too much of that in the video other than what I just said there. But uh, yeah, uh, I think that's it. I hope everyone can easily follow the, the build video. Uh, again, sub up, like, and subscribe. These videos are made for you guys and, uh, they're made so you can fully understand everything and you don't have to assume anything, hopefully. Uh, and, uh, I actually show you up close of the weld, you know what I mean? Welding the 0.2 nickel strip to another 0.2 nickel strip is a perfect example as welding to an 18650. That's why I do that without having to actually weld to the cells. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I hope everyone uh, great success with your welders and like and subscribe. Please share the video uh, and uh, I'll make a bunch of videos about the timers and I got a bunch of builds going on with, you know, bikes and stuff like that, electric bikes and battery packs and all that kind of stuff. Everyone always says that my batteries are the nicest made or, you know, they're up there with all the other guys. So uh, I'll make some build videos so you guys can have a step by step to follow absolutely everything I'm doing. But you gotta make sure to like, subscribe, and share, guys, so I can start putting a little effort into this and giving you guys what you need and what you want. Clearly, every time I do a project, whether it's MOT, uh, uh, DC with the solenoid, or MOSFETs, or anything, I do it with great care, caution, and concern, and lay it out with great detail. And I can see that a lot of people would like to start seeing content like that and would like to have availability to information 
and this kind of equipment. So if you're interested, just holler at your boy. Sub up, like, and subscribe. And uh, we'll make sure to get this out to you guys. Cheers.